Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So today I want to get back into a bit of Xbox news and talk about what is to come for the platform in 2022 as they had a pretty good year in 2021. Now there is a couple of reasons for this success and I want to explore that as I think it is important to look at what direction the platform is trending in. Despite massive supply issues and shortages, both series consoles has been received very well and is continuing to sell very well but that is not the reason for the latest success of the Xbox. I think most people already know the answer to the question but most of the recent success that Xbox has been seeing comes from Game Pass and Cloud Gaming. It has long since been said that this generation of consoles could be the last and with that in mind it is only logical that Xbox would have a massive focus on things like gaming on the cloud. Forbes point out in their article, Microsoft made huge strides towards winning back gamers and welcoming in newcomers to the hobby. A radical about face compared to team leading Xbox when the Xbox One launched in 2013. The driving force behind the rise of Xbox isn't the new Xbox Series X console or its baby brother the Xbox Series S, instead it is the one-two punch of Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Cloud Gaming. While Sony still has the most desirable exclusives primarily because you can only play them on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, though increasingly they are releasing later on PC as well, the Japanese game maker is nothing comparable to Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Cloud Gaming. Game Pass in itself is a service that really exploded during COVID, jumping up from a few million to over 10 million people almost overnight. Since then Xbox has been doubling down and we have seen growth of well over 23 million active users. Now I am sure that they are probably still losing money with the servers considering that they release all of their games day and date but overall Game Pass has been a massive success and it is only a matter of time before they actually start becoming profitable as well. But the article goes on to say Microsoft has made gaming with Xbox regardless of your hardware more accessible than ever. This applies to console gaming as well with programs like Xbox All Access making consoles more affordable and smart delivery ensuring that no matter what game you buy you will always be able to play the best version for no additional cost. If you have an Xbox One and upgrade to the Xbox Series X the Xbox One version will convert to the Xbox Series Series X version if one is available. But the overall point here is because Xbox has made gaming more accessible on their platform, they have enjoyed a lot more success lately. Although there can be a lot of value in exclusives as evident by the success of Sony as well as Nintendo, Xbox is proving that there is another way of doing things as well. Xbox really has been setting a new trend especially with the way that we can consume games. They might not be the first platform ever to make a gaming service but they are definitely the best at it. There is no other gaming service currently that does what Xbox Game Pass is doing with their day and date releases and I do believe that it is only a matter of time before other platforms start doing the same but anyways that is all that I have for today so if you enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.